What's up YouTube, Playmatter here, and welcome to my video on a guide to Clifford Rulings. If you enjoy the video, do subscribe and give me a great big thumbs up. I'll be bringing you loads more informative videos and some really great deck profiles too. Before I start, I just want to say that this isn't a video about how to play Clifford, it is just a video about how to know the rulings, about the cards that they're playing, and cards that do and don't work against them. Okay, so ruling number one is just about pendulums in general. Pendulum spells are unlike field spells, in that you cannot replace a pendulum spell with another pendulum spell. Uh, in, the, in this deck, that, that would be particularly ridiculously good. So if you have a pendulum spell in the pendulum spell zone, you cannot place another pendulum spell over the top of it in order to get the effects of the new pendulum spell, or if you specifically wanted to send the old pendulum spell to the top of the extra deck. Ruling number two, again about pendulums, is just that they do all go to the uh, top of the extra deck, whether they're monsters or whether they're spells when they are destroyed. Ruling number three is that Macrocosmos and Dimensional Fissure are currently being ruled that any pendulum monster that is being considered as a monster, uh, uh, not a spell, will be banished when it's destroyed, uh, not going to the top of the extra deck. And then if they're in the spell zone, Macrocosmos will banish them and Dimensional Fissure will not banish them when they are destroyed. I'm literally going to go through all these cards uh, from their simplest rulings, such as things you can just find out from reading the card, all the way to the more complex rulings that aren't necessarily obvious just from problem solving card text. So it's important to note that you you cannot special summon monsters except for clean monsters and that this effect cannot be negated. Okay, so you can normal summon this card without tributing uh, and if... And if this card is normal summoned without tributing, or is special summoned, if this card is special summoned at all by any means, uh, its original attack becomes 1800. If this card is normal summoned or set, it is unaffected by activated effects from any monsters whose original uh, level or rank is lower than this card's current level. So it's important to note that its level becomes level 4, um, unless it's tribute summoned. This means basically that the Clifford monsters um, are, are all better once you have Tribute summoned into them. And the final effect of Carrier is that if this card is attributed, you can target one monster on the field, return it to the hand. This effect cannot miss timing because it's an if you can effect, and it does and it does target. Uh, this does say tributed, so it can be tributed for any card that says tribute. Um, there are lots of spell and traps um, and monster effects that say the word tribute. Um, without necessarily tribute summoning, so do watch out for that. The next card is Clifford Disc. You cannot special summon monsters except clean monsters. This does mean they have very limited access to the extra deck whenever the uh, in the pendulum zone. Uh, Clifford Disc is a level 7 so it requires two tributes, um, however you can normal summon this card without tributing. Uh, if this card is normal summoned without tributing or is, spe or is special summoned, its level becomes 4 and original attack becomes 1800. So the last part and this part of the effect is all the same as well. Uh, if this card is normal summoned or set, it is unaffected by activated effects from any monster whose original uh, level or rank is lower than this card's current level. Uh, when this card is tribute summoned, by tributing clean monsters, you can special summon two clean monsters from your deck but destroy them during the end phase. In general, with a Clifford deck, you really want to keep track of which ones have been tribute summoned. The, the rest that have been special summoned or normal summoned without a tribute uh, do have the 1-800 uh, reduced attack points. Uh, this is why they play Skill Drain in the deck as well, by the way. So they can they can activate Disc, special summon, I don't know, any special summon anything they want from the, from the deck, including two more discs if they wanted to, then flip Skill Drain and then attack with all three. That's just one example of one of their OTKs. Just to note, it's got the pendulum scale 1, um, and it doesn't matter which way around you put your pendulum um, scales. Then we have Clifford Helix. This part of the effect is all the same. Uh, the, the, the end effect is, if this card is tributed, you can target one spell trap on the field and destroy it. Again, this resolves off the field so it works under skill drain. So Helix is our other level 6 along with Carrier. Okay, so next we have Clifford's Shell. Uh, this this part of the effect is all the same. Uh, this part of the effect is all the same. Until we get down to... If this card is normal summoned by tributing a clean monster, it can make a second attack during each battle phase. And if it attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. 
Okay, so um, there's not much in terms of rulings here, but this is just so you know its effect. I do think it's important to mention that a lot of people say life points don't matter in the game. Um, I think that's so untrue now. If you look at the decks in the format, if you play cards like Silent Warning and Time Space Trap Hole and Chaos Trap Hole and Soul Charge and all these cards that pay life points to do stuff, you can just give your opponent only just what they need in order to kill you a turn earlier um, and basically can lose you the game. Uh, so I think it's really important to watch out and look after your life points. Like Clifford, Shadol and Burning Abyss can all put 5,000 or more attack on the field um, in one turn, no problem. So if you're already putting your life points down to 6,000, 5,000 just by activating cards like Solemn Warning, like uh, Time Space Trap Hole, um, then you are going to be in trouble and you will lose games to it. Okay, so I'm going to move on to Clifford Scout. Um, it's a vanilla, it's level 5. This part of the effect is all the same. Uh, you cannot special summon clue monsters and this effect cannot be negated, however, once per turn, uh, this is while it's a spell card, you can pay 800 life points, add one Klee card from your deck to your hand, except for Scout. Um, this, yeah, this, <laughs> this is the card that basically makes the whole deck worth playing, I think. Um, a lot of people would agree that um, it just gives it so much search. It's Okay, so I'm going to move on to Apocalyphal Towers. Uh, it cannot be special summoned at all. Um, it's the only one that isn't a Pendulum Monster as well. Uh, if this card is normal summoned or set, it is unaffected by spell trap effects and by the effects of and by the effects from monsters and by the effects of any monster whose original level or rank is lower than this card's current level. All special summon monsters lose 500 attack and defense, so that's both sides of the field. Once per turn, you can make your opponent send one monster from their hand or their side of the field to the graveyard, and it's their choice not yours. So basically once per turn you plus one. <laughs> and the rest of its effect is continuous. Um, just do note that it is completely unaffected by spell or trap effects. You cannot break through skill it. You cannot skill... Uh, okay so there's a couple of rulings with towers. Uh, the first of which is versus skill drain. If skill drain is already face up on the field then towers' effect is negated. However if skill drain is activated after Towers is face up on the field, then Towers is not affected by skill drain. The other thing is the once per turn you can make your opponent send one monster from their hand or their side of the field to the graveyard. With this effect, if your opponent sends any Shadol monster, it does not get its effect. They may change their mind, but that is how it's ruled in the OCG. Um, this is because it's not considered being sent to the graveyard by a card effect, um, but by but by your opponent. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the supporting cards for the Clifford deck. Um, we have Sacrifice. The, p the puns with this archetype are ridiculous. The equipped monster can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a Klee monster. If this monster is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Klee monster from your deck to your hand. This effect cannot miss timing. Uh, we have a field spell, laser clip. You can normal summon one clean monster in addition to your normal summon or set. The normal summons of clean monsters cannot be negated. So even if you get a second laser clip, you cannot get another additional normal summon, uh, as you can only gain this effect once per turn. Next we have clipper launch. All normal summon clean monsters gain 300 attack, have their effects negated, are, and are unaffected by other spells and trap effects. However, do note that it only works for normal summoned clean monsters, um, but the effects last until the end of this turn. Um, so it's it's the very end of the turn. It doesn't stop working in the end. And it's a trap, um, which raises attack, meaning that you can activate this card in the damage step. The next card is climate change. Ugh, the puns. <laughs> you can only activate one climate change per turn. Add up to three face-up Klee Pendulum Monsters from your extra deck to your hand. Uh, just note that it says up to, so it can be any number between one and three. Uh, just so you know, uh, you might query it if you're at your locals, um, but, but this card can be used to search for uh, Clifford Scout. You can reduce the battle damage you take from a battle involving a Pendulum Monster you control to zero. The next part of the effect is during your end phase, you can destroy this card, and if you do, so it's a, it's an optional, you don't have to, 
During your end phase, you can destroy this card, and if you do, add one Pendulum Monster with 1500 attack or less attack from your deck to your hand. Just note that you can only use each Pendulum effect of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon once per turn, so you can only search once per turn, um, regardless of how many Pendulum Dragons you... When this is in the Monster Zone, if this card battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage this card inflicts to your opponent is doubled. So it's only if it battles an opponent's monster. Next card is Trample Links. Um, you can only use the Pendulum effect of Performer Power Trample Links once per turn. When you Pendulum Summon, you can target one card in a Pendulum Zone, return that target to the hand. Um, so you can bounce your opponent's Pendulums uh, if you like, but you're more likely to bounce your own Scout. So you can Pendulum Summon as many monsters as you like, bounce your Clifford Pendulum spell, Special summon as much as you like from the extra deck, from your hand, whatever. Like, there's some really huge plays with that. So just be really wary of trample links. But also when it's a monster, when this card is normal summoned, you can target one card in a pendulum zone and return that target to the hand. It is less popular, but here's its effect. You, uh, once per turn, it's got a pendulum scale of 3. And once per turn, you can target one face-up monster on the field, switch its current attack and defense until the end of this turn. Um, and then when it's on the field, uh, you can do it to your own monster, switching its uh, attack and defense. I move on to Skill Drain. Um, the way Skill Drain works and interacts with this deck is that it's very similar to Beast King Barbaros. You can normal summon all of these guys without tributing, um, and, and they would keep their original attack and defense. Um, so they would be 2,400 or 2,800. Um, a uh, fun little ruling is that if you're in the mirror match, you can equip your opponent's uh, clean monster with uh, sacrifice. Use the monarch stormforth and tribute their monster, and it would and it would be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon. You would then get to search a clean monster from your deck. So there are a few things that need to be cleared up with pendulum monsters versus cards like solemn warning. Um, solemn warning can and does negate and destroy. Everything that's Pendulum Summoned. Same with Black Horn of Heaven. Black Horn of Heaven. Same with Black Horn of Heaven. It will negate all and any Pendulum Summoned monsters. Same, and the same with Steel Swarm Roach. Okay, so here's an interesting ruling with Steel Swarm Roach. Uh, if, you, if, for example, you try to Pendulum Summon a level 3, a level 4, and a level 5, because at least one of them is a level 5 or higher monster that would be Special Summoned, uh, you negate the entire, special, the entire Pendulum Summon and destroy it because at least one of them is level 5 or higher. So the level 3 and the level 4 would also get negated and destroyed. The next thing I wanted to talk about is that pendulum spells are not considered as normal spells and they are not considered as continuous spells. They are pendulum spells. This means that cards that specifically target or that specifically target normal spells will not work against them. Um, cards like Magic Jammer do work when a spell card is activated. It is a, sp it is a pendulum spell, it is trying to activate you can discard one card and negate and destroy. Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell also works against Pendulum Spells. Anti-Spell Fragrance, because you cannot set Pendulum Spells in the Pendulum Zone or in the Spell and Trap Zone. You cannot place uh, Pendulum Spells at all if Anti-Spell Fragrance is face up on the field. Um, spell Shattering Arrow and Fairy's Wind um, destroy all face up spell cards, but destroy all other face up spell cards and trap cards on the field. They will both uh, destroy uh, any any and all pendulum monsters on the field, as well as other spell and traps. Uh, the final ruling is with Chimeratech Fortress Dragon. The card text must first be special summoned from your extra deck by sending the above cards from either side of the field to the graveyard. Um, because it says it, it must send them to the graveyard, and pendulum monsters don't go to the graveyard, uh, you cannot use it versus the pendulum monsters. It is, it is an out to... Uh, Clifford Towers, if you have your own Cyber Dragon, um, you can special summon Cyber Dragon and then make a Chimera Tech with their towers, but you cannot use it with any of their other Pendulum Monsters uh, at all. That concludes my guide to Clifford rulings. Um, I'm sure there's going to be loads more uh, Clifford rulings that pop up uh, with specific card interactions that come out uh, over the next few months. I hope this video has really helped you kind of get your head around uh, Clifforts and their effects. Making this video certainly helped me get, get my head around Clifforts and, and the deck itself and what it aims to achieve and uh, its rulings. If you like my content and think that my information is of a high quality, please do subscribe to my channel as it really does mean a lot. Until next time, 
Playmatter signing out.